Hi again. Now have a look at square roots with logs. Here's our question. 2 to the what is root 2, and a lot of people don't understand what's going on. So come back over to here. Root 2 by root 2, hopefully you understand when you're multiplying square roots, you multiply the insides, and if we were doing third laws, and what goes on with square roots, the outsides are multiplied as well. So we now know that root 2 by root 2 is just 2. So it's interesting that the square roots cancel themselves out. So squares and square roots are opposite of each other. They're in wording opposite of each other because they're related. Now, if I write that as 2 to the power multiplied by 2 to another power, I end up with 2 to the 1. So what do you do with the powers or the indices when you're multiplying? If the bases are the same, we add the powers. So what number plus itself would give us 1? And obviously that's going to be a half. So we now know that the square root of 2 can be written as 2 to the half. So the people originally invented only invented the index laws, but this happens as a natural consequence. So I go back to my question here, and I can go to the log of 2 to the half with a base of 2 equals something. Now there are further log laws, but I want to focus on this method for the time being. So what do we have now if I squash the 2 out? 2 to the power of a half equals 2 to the x. Now I can equate the powers, and normally we write the x first, that's called making x the subject. When I was um, at school, it was a big fuss, you had to write x as a subject, otherwise you lost marks. Not always the case these days. So we've got x equals a half. So go back to the original question, I can just say 2 to the what is square root of 2, and I know it's a half. So on this one, I can go 5 to the what is the square root of 5, and I know the power is going to be a half. Come over to this one here, now we've got a whole new situation. So I've got the log with the base of 3 of 1 on 3 to the half. Because I know the square root of 3 can be just written as 3 to the half. If I want to move from the denominator to the numerator, what happens to the power, or the index? It becomes a negative. By the way, with index laws, if you move from the numerator to the denominator, the sign will also change on the index. So now I've got this question here. 3 to the what is minus a half? And the answer of obviously is minus a half. If I decide to do that as the log of 3 to the minus a half base 3 with an x, and we use the squish method, I've got 3 to the minus a half equals 3 to the x. Once they're both threes, then I can make an equation out of the indexes, the indices, and I've got x equal minus a half. Thank you.